Hi guys, so if you came here from Your Art Designers Facebook group or ArkeishaLewisGraphics.com website, this is a tutorial showing you how to set up for the um, bib 41621 SVG um, necklace. This is the template and this is a testing template, that's why it looks like that. But this is um, a video tutorial showing you how to set up. So if you've seen it in the group, then you'll you'll know that um, I posted a picture of how it looks after I made it out the way I made it. So I did. I don't think I separated these two. Let me let me um detach these two pieces. Let me, um, you'll get the SVG if you order it from the um, website, so you won't have to do any slicing. This is, again, like I said, a testing P PNG file, so. So I have to slice it. Okay, so again. Uh, I, as I said, if you um, saw it, saw me have it made out in the group, then this is what I made it a seven inch necklace. You can make whatever size you want to make. That is totally up to you for whatever you're going to do with the template. This should be separated didn't slice that either well let me get that sliced apart as well I thought I had everything sliced to get um apart apparently I did not okay now we should be good to go so I'm just um, putting everything on top of just pretty much building it on this um, screen so I can size it you don't want to um, size each you don't want to size it individually you want to make sure you have everything selected before you start sizing anything promise I thought I had all that done So they'll line up perfectly when when you get ready to put this together now you could put an uh, initial in here a logo in here whatever you want to put in here you can leave it plain you can put a little hole in it attach a, a bead or a stone this is versatile you could do what you want to do so now that we have everything Pretty much lined up with how it goes then you'll want to do your sizing so I'm going to just group it together for now so again in the um, one from the photos it is a seven inch so I just drew everything out to seven inch you can make this six inch five inch you can even make it little kid size if you want to do some colored um, pieces, do it colored. However you want to make it, that's up to you. So I made the ones for a 7 inch. So drew it out to 7 inch, 7 inches. And then you just pull your pieces apart. Ungroup. And let's say these pieces you're going to do in... silver you will do these in silver I like to on the screen just make it the color that you're gonna pretty much do it in and then the rest of these you're gonna do in gold or whatever color you're gonna do I'm just saying that for this purposes for the purpose of this video 
So we can group these. Then turn them off. So now that's going to be gold. And we can group these. So we're going to copy this again. Then we're going to turn it off. And we're going to control V to paste it. And then we're going to turn these black because you're going to do your layers with black cardstock or white cardstock. If you're doing colored, that's fine too. Whatever you want to use. But um, I recommend you use a cardstock that is 110 pound. So for the base, this would be the base of the um, necklace. So you, you would want to do no more than no less than four layers and six would be good you could do more than six as however thick you want it or sturdy you want it the more layers you do the more thick and sturdy it will be but I wouldn't do no less than four and no more than six that's just me so then you would just duplicate this You can set it up on screen however you want it, but you just duplicate it four to six times how many ever, um, layers you're going to use in this. So let's say I, I was doing four, and this is for my black cardstock layers. So I'm just for now, I'm just going to group those together and turn those off. For your silver pieces, if you're going to build it up and have it look like a 3D effect, you can um make layers for this you can also just um glue your silver pieces directly to your gold pieces that is up to you but if you want it a little more detailed to have a a little more detailed look and 3d look then you'll put layers behind your silver pieces as well so i just select them all and control copy control c to copy and then i'll turn that layer off and then I'll just um, control V to paste this. And so I turn these black because I'm using black um, car style. Now for this, I would probably use um, about three, two to three would be good just to give it a little depth. So I'll duplicate that two more times. And then you'll have this um, group that. So that there you have your layers for the necklace and you have your um, your design pieces, I'll call them. So for this, everything is done. Now for the gold, you will want to duplicate this one. Uh-oh. So you will want to duplicate all of this. Duplicate. And you'll want to take this and you'll want to horizontal flip it. So it is the reverse. So when you get the piece and everything together, this will be for the front piece and this will be for the back piece. Let me make it another color so you can see. It is the reverse of this. And with this text on here, it easily shows you that I flipped it. It is the reverse. So when you start to piecing it together, This will be the front gold piece, the base of the necklace, and this will be the back. And in between these two pieces will be the black cardstock layers. Let me turn that back yellow for a minute. Oop. So now you can start cutting. You load your um, Cricut mat up with gold foil or whatever color you're going to use for the bottom piece or the base piece of your necklace so it could be glitter it could be whatever you load your mat up with that and hit make it's on print then cut hold on one second 
So let's go up and make sure. Well, when you do, when you pull it over from the website, if you purchase this from the website, you won't need to do this. I, I just slapped something in here real quick and didn't set it up properly. So now let me, now, so now when you hit make, you just cut all your pieces out of your gold foil, glitter, pink, whatever, whatever you want to use. So you do that, and then you cut your silver pieces on. And let me go ahead and make now those a basic cut. And let's make them back silver so we don't get confused. And then you hit make. You load your mat up with your silver or whatever color you're going to use, your accent color, and cut those out. Then you come back and you turn on your this set and hit make. This is your layers for your silver pieces. Again, I gotta make it a um, cut file because for some reason I must have saved it as a print then cut. Basic cut. Hit make. And then you'll put your black cardstock or your white cardstock or whatever you want to use. Now, if you do not, let's go back here. If you don't, um, to save space, you can you can move this all around and um, individually, because you know if you're working with um, cardstock that's eight and a half by eleven, then you can move this around and piece it how you need it to be before you hit make so it will all cut out of one that one sheet you don't have to cut it like it is so then you want to attach it before you hit make it make load your mat with black cardstock or white cardstock and cut that out and then your last pieces You'll want to break these down just like I showed you just now for the um, other pieces. And then once you do that, you load your mat again with black cardstock, white cardstock, whichever one you're going to use for your layers, and hit make. So let's ungroup these. Let me set this up real quick. Hold on. Okay, after you get everything cut out and it is in front of you, then you have your cut pieces here that represent your um, layers for the base. So then you will glue all your gold pieces to the top of your base pieces. Then this glues to the back of them. Then these glue... This will glue on top, sent to the front. You will line these up where they go on top, and then ungroup. So you know you'll line those up where they go on top. That's for your your base for these pieces, and then you'll line these up on top of that. All right, guys, this video is about to um, cut off, but that is pretty much how you set up for this set. Thanks for watching. If you want to find the set, it is at ArkeshaLewisGraphics.com. If you want to join the group, it's Ear Art Designers on Facebook. Thanks for watching.